as the youngest person here, I can say with some degree of confidence, this, this game makes me feel old because my first recollection or my first memory of it is straight up from a commercial when I was eight years old. That's 20 years ago. Anyways, we're throwing chairs at Turok 2, Seeds Evil by Iguana Entertainment, ported by Iculus and published by Night Dive Studios, built on the Kex engine for all the maximum Kex. Um, <laughs> But uh, you can pick it up for about 20 of your local wet stinky currencies. What is it? Having defeated the campaigner, Turok throws the Chrono Scepter to a waiting volcano to destroy it. Fortunately, the blast awakens an even deadlier force, the Primogen. Once again, Turok is tasked with destroying world peace, the land, <laughs> and stopping Primogen from merging with Earth. Turok is and tasked with world. destroying world peace? Yeah, destroying right. world peace. <laughs> I'll allow it. Listen, man, we, we can't have humans and dinosaurs living side by side. What is this? The fucking Flintstones? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm not going to follow that one up with my plan joke. This is, <laughs> this is where you take a game, play it. We, uh, we break it down, whether it works, whether it launches the, the graphical fidelity or the performance, the graphics and the controls. We give it a score on, on those criteria from one to four chairs. And uh, then we take a, head on over to the fun category and we tell you whether or not we had fun. Write that on one to four chairs and... Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Chair acquisition. So let's get started. Ben, on Ubuntu, how does uh, Tarok 2 make with the working? Oh, look, Ubuntu, 1804.1. whatever it is today. Um, it's thing. Does it launch? Yes, it launches. Uh, just not in 1080p full screen. Not in my setup, which is kind of basic. I have one separate X screen, then I have a UHD monitor and a 1080p monitor. It's like, nope, not having any of that bullshit. Uh, performance. 60 at 1080 in that window. It were Sound is a pre-Brexit pound, baby. Uh, at 2160, 3840, 2160, a uh, marketing term, they call it UHD and or 4K, both lies. Kind of mid-50s. And that's on a 980, uh, that crusty old, old ancient video card of um, days long since gone. Graphics, take a look at them. I mean, you listen to the audio, I mean, they look like a 20-year-old game. But they that's HD. It's been remastered. I mean, everything's sharp as it could be. Textures have been redone a little bit. But again, it does eat a bag of dino dicks when trying to enter 1080p full screen. So I've got to play it in a little window if I want to play it at a solid 60 FERPS. Um, controls, it's wasp, man. It, it's a shooter. I mean, it's Quake. It's anything like that. It moves. It works. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to ding it one chair on that QA report just because I had to play it in a window or i had to sit and wonder how the fuck all hell did it not hit 60 at 30 40 by 21 60 seriously uh yeah so on uh, fedora 2864 but yeah that's that's the one um with the i7 6700k gtx 980 yeah it launches and surprise surprise it holds 60 fps at uhd it's a 20 year old game on 1080 ti i mean Think of that what you will. Um, graphics wise, yeah, it's a like Vince said, it's a twenty year old game. It looks about as good as you can expect. Um, they uh, they do have the HD textures for the whatever good that will do. the 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 animation kind of looks a little weird. It seems to be a little smoother than I remember from about twenty years ago. Uh, and yeah, the controls you you paused if you played the first person shooter before on PC, you're good. Uh, so I'm gonna give it four chairs on Fedora twenty eight, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, over here on Solus 3.99999. Uh, it uh, it launched just fine with the Ryzen 5 and the GTX 1080. Uh, e I I saw Ven's thing in the notes about, oh yeah, if I try to launch it in, um, in 1080p full screen, it just noops. So I tried that. It worked fine on my end, so I don't know. Uh, the performance, it holds 60 at 1080p at uh, 3840 by 2160, but there are some issues with frame timing, because on more than one occasion, I caught the game stuttering and I looked at the frame rate counter and it was holding 60. So, yeah, there, there's some frame timing issues happening, that's for sure. Uh, the graphics, there's so much blood. There's just so much blood. Uh, the they're fine for what they are they're fine and they work well enough uh and the sounds well they got a bit grating after a while but they work just fine and well it's uh it's the mark of an port mouse smoothing actually works as intended 
it, no uh like no other games uh that have been released on linux have had mouse smoothing actually do what it's supposed to do and in this game it does kudos Aculus. kudos <laughs> so mm-hmm. four chairs for me <laughs> all right well there you go don't play this game on ubuntu is the moral of the story <laughs> how, about, how, how, how about fun man do you have fun well, we get a little bit of subjective. All right, uh, let's walk off with this business. I never played the original Tuk Tuk Turok 2, but this kind of looks like a pleasant expansion on the first one. You know, you got plenty of weapons, plenty of gore, fast pace, no reloading. Oh, oh, it has backtracking. Frowny face. Uh, sorry, kids. That's so not my thing. It fucking burns. I mean, it's kind of like right out of the bat turns into a little bit of a fetch quest. Um... And that's in a first-person shooter, and that can die in a fire. A 20 wet, stinky cash fire at that. Um, the one thing that kind of irritated me, Pedro, is that you're talking about blood. The dying animations, a little bit on the long mm-hmm. side, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I might have wasted way more bullets at first than I realized because the guy was seizing around, the dino person. And I was like, no, they're, they're dead. They're, they're just taking they're, a minute and a half to fall over and uh, play they, dead. They, they still bleed, too. That's what throws you <laughs> off as well. Uh, as we learned uh, a couple of weeks back, good fucking luck trying to get multiplayer matches working. You're not going to do that. That's just not going to be a thing. So don't pick it up for that. Uh, one thing negative about it, unexplainable chugginess. You even see frame pacing, even at 60, you're like, this thing's slowing down and is lying to me saying it's hitting 60. It's not hitting 60 right now. Um, did I mention the $20 price tag? Hmm. Uh, I'll say this. If you grew up playing this business, and the people who did seem to really, really like this game. I mean, they want some of that sweet nostalgia all over their face, chest, and neck. Brothers and sisters and everyone in between, go for it. But again, 20 bucks. Um, if you are Turok Curious, I mean, and you're like Tur- me. Turk Curious? <laughs> Turk Curious? Turducken? Uh, <laughs> I'd say just pick up the first one. It's the same price, and I had a lot more fun with that. But then again, we were talking earlier before we went live. I think I had a lot more fun with the original Turok because I was sitting there going, I remember this. And I was like, oh, this is some bull. Yeah, I remember this bullshit, too. So if this is something you played on the N64, your PC or something like that way back when... And you want to pay the iron price for it? Go for it. Look at, I, I just, look at, look at those Triforces, man. This is totally an N64 game. It's, well, you know it's N64 the second you see it, man. You're like, ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of wish we had the PC version. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's an okay game, right? Um, there's nothing wrong with Turok 2 back then. And, I mean, it's still a solid game for what it is. It's just old. You run around, you shoot dinosaurs, which, by the way, sounds like a sort of anal blister that's not really fun um yeah you gotta you gotta gotta run around the levels you gotta save the children or shave the children or something like that find the shrines find the feathers complete things find the keys basically run around here and here's a bunch of goals so that you run into enemies that you got to kill them so you can go to the next area and find more things and find more enemies so you can kill them yeah there there is lots of backtracking i don't really mind it all that much i would have liked i would have maybe liked uh, like a map functionality, maybe not necessarily one on the screen, but something you could refer to. Because sometimes you're like, wait, I think I've been here before. Hmm. But at the, at the same time, sometimes th- things change on uh, multiple uh, visits. So there's definitely a thing about that. Uh, the AI is wee dumb, but that's because this is from before the time of circle strafing. And so you can just circle strafe your way around enemies until they die. Um, the enemy placement in the uh, levels are pretty good, still solid, like uh, the first game. And yeah, it's it's all right. the The twenty dollars price tag is steep. If you can get this in the first Turok and you haven't played that, or maybe you want the nostalgia thing, I'd recommend giving this a buy. But uh, just for the game by itself, it's it's okay. It's not gonna blow your mind. I give it two cheers. Yeah. It's more Turok. It's uh, the level design. You can see the like the difference in level design from the first one to the second one. Even if the teleporters, because it's not actually interconnected, it's just a bunch of teleporters dotted around the map, it makes it feel a bit disconnected. But yeah, the levels do loop back in on themselves. And uh, like Jordan mentioned, uh, once you've been to an area, you probably want to go back because that door that was closed before may be open now. (laughs) 
and the game kind of forces you to do that on more than one occasion. Well, that so, and sometimes you just get fucking lost. You're like, Ruff. oh yeah, yeah. The then that's my biggest complaint about this game. It's the sounds. I don't remember the first two rock, and we threw chairs at it not too long ago. I don't remember two rock making. Uh, 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 well, climbing oh, I, mean, I, I, I was making those noises time. for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all the goddamn time, all the way, all the whole length of the ladder that he's climbing is just grunting. It's like stop, you just know, shut up. Okay, all right. I hate to even jump in, but with the like the climbing the ladder, I remember the first time I saw that in the first one, I was like, this is a new type of mechanic look at that mm -hmm. I, you just didn't see it you normally just jump or a ladder you would just slide up it it's like yep. this is neat i understood it in the first one by the time turok 2 came out i was like it's i, I agree with you pedro it's been done we get it we, you know yeah and then there's the background music it it gets so repetitive it starts grinding your eardrums just like no stop so yeah the the music got muted the voice effects got muted and well yeah it was the game that reminded me just why i used to mute music all the way back then in video games it's it's because of this repetitive bullshit but i like the shooting i very much like the shooting i very much like the level design i very much liked how um even though you have very limited ammo, they actually place the, like everything is very well thought out. It's just, yeah, it's an old game, I guess. So yeah, three chairs for me. <laughs> All right. Well, that, uh, that wraps up our Turok 2 review. We've uh, sprayed our seeds of evil all over your face organs. Uh, we've got any final thoughts before we move on to hate mail? Uh, if you want to revisit it, by all accounts, this is a faithful adaptation, and they've just enhanced the bits that were good with it. Mm -hmm. uh, through reading through the reviews, it does suffer from performance issues, even on the Windows. So keep that in mind, and that's a, that's a twenty dollars trip down memory lane. Maybe, yeah, maybe eventually, <laughs> maybe eventually we'll get a Vulcan render for it too. 